welcome back to part two of the install video. As you can see, I have the mid valve assembly clamped inside of our vise. I have the cartridge rod clamped inside of some shaft block clamps. And I have ground down the tip of the thread so that way I can safely remove this nut without damaging it. As you can see, even part of the nut has been ground away also. Before I did any grinding, I removed the white piston band that was located right here for two reasons. One, we need to reuse that piston band on the JBI mid-valve piston. And also, since it's made out of plastic, we do not want it getting melted and or damaged during the grinding process of removing the threads on top. So, with this fixtured inner vise, I'm still going to use a 17 millimeter wrench to locate around these flat spots right here. So that way I don't have to overly tighten or clamp down on this cartridge rod. So again, using my 17 millimeter wrench, we're going to locate that right on side of this. Beautiful. And then we'll use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench to remove the nut on top. Again, the 17 mil millimeter wrench is to prevent our cartridge from spinning as we spin off this 10 millimeter nut. Since we have ground it well and properly, it's not going to take much force in order to remove this nut. Now, for purposes of this video, I'm gonna tighten this down pretty good. Awesome. And I'm not going to use the wrench, but I'm recommending that you do. And I'll show you how easy this nut comes off when properly ground. Here's our 10 mil wrench. I'm gonna throw it on and push. So it came off very easy. Excellent. So from this assembly, we're going to reuse a few pieces. Our nut, we're gonna reuse. So take that, set it aside. You'll wanna clean the nut off of any oil. So that way when we put Loctite on there, it'll properly cure. And we also wanna reuse this nut and the shims that are underneath it that are the same diameter. See these shims? Not this one. Right here, let me remove that one. Boop. Awesome. These shims right here. See how they're all the same diameter as our nut? These are spacing shims. That's important because here's a reference with the OE piston when we put this back on. See how we have the perfect amount of threads left to match our nut? Well, we're gonna do the same thing with the JBI mid-valve assembly. And in order to do that, we need spacing. So, again, set aside the nut, we're gonna reuse it. And also set aside this metal spacer and the shims that are underneath it that are the same size. Again, they're 18 millimeters in diameter. Cool, so we set these over there. Now, everything else you can take off and disregard. So, start with the rebound stack, remove that, set it aside, or throw it in the trash. The OEM mid-valve piston, take that off. The mid-valve compression shims, the leaf spring shims, and lastly, the trampoline valve washer, this piece that comes off as well. So that's going to leave us with just this rebound piston post. It is almost time for us to install the JBI mid-valve component assembly. First, we wanna clean up these threads. So to do that, we're gonna take the nut that we pulled off, we're gonna thread it back on. Awesome. And then just get it finger tight, but pretty tight. And then we're gonna use a small jeweler's file. Looks like this thing right here. And we just wanna kind of file down the top edges and around it. I like to kind of go at an angle with the nut. So that way we get a nice chamfer. What we're trying to do is remove any sharp edges or just loose pieces. Now the reason we're doing that with the nut on is so that way when we take the nut off, it is going to chase these threads for us and fix them. 
So I'm going to grab a little rag and let's wipe off all the oil and crap down here at the base and then wipe off the top of it as well. Now you can get carried away if you want and make it as pretty as possible, but really we just need those threads to not be super sharp or have any sliver hanging off that could possibly break off over time and contaminate our oil. So now that we have that done, let's re-remove our nut. And it's probably gonna take a little effort here at the top. So just put your wrench back on, spin that off, chase those threads. Beautiful. So next what we wanna do is we wanna take some compressed air and we're gonna blast it through this hole right here. But we're gonna cover up the other hole on this side with our finger. The reason we're gonna do that is so that way when we blast air through there, it's gonna come out through the top this way and any debris that got on the inside of this as we were grinding away the threads is gonna go shooting out the top. So don't press the air in through this way and don't blast the air without covering the side hole because we wanna make sure that the air only has one way out and that's through the top. I only got one hand now so I can't show you guys on camera but I assume you understand what I'm talking about. It is now time to begin installing the JBI suspension WPAER Pro Fork Mid Valve Assembly. We'll begin by first installing the spacer that we removed from our stock compression assembly. That is this spacer right here. When you modify your compression assembly, this piece, you will no longer be using that spacer. So again, we ask you set it aside. You have it here. It is not directional for this application. So we'll go ahead, slide that spacer on. Next, you have your JBI suspension leaf spring mid valve assembly. This thing is already all stacked up exactly how it should be installed. We have the titanium rainbow collar post in the middle of it. All the shims sit around this post. And I'm going to remove this cable tie and get this ready to install. The cable tie has been removed and I slid on the JBI suspension leaf spring mid valve shim stack onto this bent spoke. Um, it is something I use to uh, slide shims onto and guide the shims onto the uh, piston post that we install them to. Um, another item you can use is like a little T-handle. Just something that uh, has a small um, diameter shaft and you can easily slide the shims onto and keep everything in order. Now take note the direction I slid the shims onto. So the open part, or say the end of it, the shims are gonna slide down this way, is where we have our collar post. Because when we put these on, as such, this is the direction we want it to slide down and onto the post. So I have now installed the JBI suspension leaf spring shim assembly. Oh, let's get this in focus. So the two pieces we have installed is the spacer, and now we have the collar. The shims that go underneath are leaf spring washer. The shims got, that go on top are leaf spring washer. And then the shims that go against our piston face. It's important to note two things. All the shims should be sitting perfectly around this rainbow titanium collar. It should not be sitting offset like this at all. Every shim will sit perfectly concentrically as shown in this way. Now, all the kits, the shims are either sit pretty much flush with the collar, or they might be slightly above or below the collar, but not much. The reason being is depending on how tall our shim stack is, is going to determine how much preload we have on our shim stack. And that is going to vary depending on the setup that we are providing. Cool. So now our next step is to install our mid piston and then the rebound stack that is on the other side. So I'm gonna do the same things I did before. I'm gonna use this, and I'm actually gonna slide it through this side, and then I'll slide everything up onto it. One thing you wanna take note is this shim right here in the center. That one's very important. It helps dictate our spacing and how much shim preload we have over here. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna slide on this rebound shim stack and this mid-valve piston onto our shim holding tool. And then this small shim, I'm going to manually, with my hands, install onto here. The cable tie has been removed. The rebound shim stack and JBI suspension mid-valve piston has been slid onto our shim hanger tool. And then right here, I have our very small shim that originally was placed right into here. I'm gonna grab this guy and we're gonna carefully install that onto here. And as we do, we're gonna make sure that it lines up perfectly with that rainbow collar underneath. Perfect.